I don't know what we're doing, this is kind of like, it's kind of dry, just let's do it. Yeah. Whew, let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chloe and I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. Today I am joined by my lovely hubby here, Lee. Hello. And today we're going to be doing a bit of a favourites and a recap video. So no doubt you will have seen that we did a recent trip to Florida and Walt Disney World, which was amazing, wasn't it? It was super. I think that if anybody watching this will probably know that you went to Disney. Yeah, I don't know anyone who didn't know <laughs> that I went to Disney. So with that being said, we're going to do a little bit of a trip recap. And today we're going to share with you our top threes from a selection of different categories. Are you ready? From a selection? Yeah, so the dogs are with us today, so you'll probably see them roaming about and we're just going to ignore them. Well, we're not because they're super cute and everyone loves the dogs. So on my phone, I've got one, two, three, four, five different categories. And then anything else that you kind of think is fitting or deserves a honourable mention as well while we're yeah, at it. Feel under pressure. Yeah, so we're gonna do top three for Walt Disney World and Florida as a whole. So probably Walt Disney World, Universal and International Drive. So our top three. The first category is restaurants. <laughs> so this can include any restaurant on Disney property in Universal or on iDrive, including any quick service or table service at Disney. So our top three, as it stands today from this last visit, our top from three. From this last visit? Yeah. Oh, this is hard I'd like to narrow it down, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just gonna go with what like feels right to me right now in the moment though. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. So my third top three restaurant is <laughs> Casey's Corner in Magic Kingdom. Ooh. That's like a quick serve well, it is a quick service restaurant and it probably is overlooked as a place to go because you think of it as just doing fast food and hot dogs and all that kind of jazz but we actually went three times yeah we did we went every time we were eating in magic kingdom we went and ate there was it three or were it four i had three in my head yeah right, i did where it could have been three. four Every time I went to Magic Kingdom, except for that first night, we yeah, ate at Casey's because it's so good, they've got so many different things there, and yeah, it might just be like your typical hot dogs and fast food style, but they amplify that, so they make it like, you could go get in a restaurant like the pickled something, something hot dog, or like I got the tachos and the corn dog things, Yeah. where you get like the corn dogs with nachos and guac and salsa and everything and it was just delightful very you yeah and it's a really good price point too so that's yeah. my number three i like it so my number three is that um bumblebee's tacos oh i totally forgot about that yeah, yeah. so yeah so i think this list is gonna be a lot of quick service because that's where we ate a lot of them because yeah. we had a lot of quick service credits yeah but that was um, universal so that, that was really universal matter. um so yeah scrap that um, so yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. It was one of the things that we've never done before with yeah. the tacos and then there's always been a big queue and we saw on somebody's vlog that they were having it there and went over and sure enough they were really nice tacos. They were really good, And yeah. when I think of food that we ate at Universal, that just really stands out. It was so good and the one in particular which we liked, was it the carne asante? Oh man, you know, I'd never remember that name. The beef skirt steak, I which I didn't like. Yeah, I'd so... Was that actually called that one, beef skirt steak? Yeah, I think so. So the other one we got was the carne asante, and that was delicious. Yeah. Or was it... And that was my fault for trying to make it. Or was it like the it? Korean barbecue one that we liked? A Korean barbecue, wasn't it? What have you got that other one? What was the name from? So a carne asante is the beef skirt steak, the one we didn't like then. Ah. So yeah, I am. Um, that's what I... That's your third favourite. Cool, so my number two now, I just forgot it for a second, is sci-fi dining theatre. Mainly because I really liked the overall experience of it and the food that I personally had was delicious. Mm. So I had pasta with shrimp and it was just really good because it was different to a lot of the other food we're having everywhere else and it i just remember it being a really nice tasty wholesome meal and i also remember being really comfy, comfy and cozy in the car when i kind of yeah. just got myself sat there and i could just watch away for a couple of hours and yeah i was just really chilled out and i really i liked the vibe the i liked the vibe and obviously the food was really good too so my number two is going to be cases <laughs> 
So that's because, yeah, we did eat there three times. Um, and again, when we think of Magic Kingdom. So we had a couple of restaurant meals, didn't we? Mm -hmm. um, but we, we spoke about it before, where a couple let me down. Where I don't know whether it was the hype was built up too much or whether it just wasn't as good as what I thought it would be. Or one as, good as, one as good as what they were charging for. Oh, I'm sure we did the one now as well. So, so yeah, Casey's Corner kind of wings it in there as number two. Um, I like the availability, the change of the hot dogs, they have all yeah. different flavours. They did the mobile order so you could like order it while we was watching the fireworks one night, didn't we? And then just went over and picked it up afterwards and really simple. So yeah, Casey's The sliding. only thing I would say about Casey's is, though sometimes you think it's going to be quicker to mobile order and it's not so... You just have to go there, maybe eye up what you think is looking quicker and then mobile order if it's looking like that because remember nah, that. I reckon that was just a one off though because. You think? Yeah, but it happened like a couple of times when we did it. Yeah, but I still think it's going to be quicker to mobile order because, yeah, you, there might be occasional times where you end up the same, but there was them other times when I mobile ordered and was way quicker. Well, maybe that's the key. Maybe you need to mobile order before you get there. Yeah, like, well, that's the idea, isn't it? No, but that's what I mean, like, way ahead. So then you can be like, pick up. I'm here, thank yeah. you. So we, I did that a few times where I mobile ordered and then said I was there and then we walked over, didn't we, like five or ten minute walk? Yeah. And that works, because there is still a way when you mobile order. Yeah. Because they're still preparing Yeah, fresh. that's what I mean, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So my number one restaurant, I feel like I did a drum roll too early off in number three, Cowfish. Cowfish? Oh man, you I forgot, forgot about, about that, cowfish, didn't you? Cowfish, didn't I? Oh my God, I would go back there right now, it was so good i actually really enjoyed that meal like i don't think i know it has a little bit of hype around it but i don't think it's hyped up enough like i it proper really enjoyed nice that and i don't even think you liked it as much as i did but i <laughs> really really loved it the burgushi <sighs> it was amazing it? yeah so good and the regular sushi as well so we just went for a prawn one because i'm not massively into trying different raw fishes like, I don't like the texture and the saltiness and all of that, but the prawn one was really tasty. Yeah, it was, really it was all really flavoursome and really fresh. The only thing I would say if I went back was I would wait for a table to sit outside because inside it was freezing. <laughs> cool. But so that's my number one. My number one. Oh, sorry, one. and that's on Universal City Walk as well. Yeah, City so Walk, isn't it? So my number one would be the sci-fi dining. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so my, my one and two were just your three and two. Yeah. So yeah, based on what you said, really like the experience. I thought that was one of them where I you you booked that one. You were yeah. awful that one. Uh, yeah. That was one. That was the one that I really wanted to do. So I was really glad it lived up to the hype. Because I didn't really know what it was all about. We've seen like local clips of videos, and yeah, just the whole experience of sitting in the car and watching like the films that were on TV, and the food were really nice, and it was really good atmosphere, like in the dark. Um, yeah, I just think that that was one restaurant that did it really, yeah. really well. There we go. So that is our top three restaurants in Florida. Both had one Universal and two Disney. Yeah, yeah. Although Cowfish, now that I've remembered Remember it, it. Right there, <laughs> probably would have to feature somewhere in there. Really good, wasn't it? It'd be very good up there at the top. It was really good. So let's stay on the topic of food and let's do top three snacks. We had a lot of snacks. This could be hard. Oh, man. Okay, I'm good. Okay. So let's you go first this time. So your number three snack. Now this is snack credit eligible snacks. I just asked you Sorry. if that was yeah, it. Yeah, you said yeah, then you got a snack that one. I know, but I'm not sure if this was or not, but I'm okay. gonna roll with it. So number three is going to be you're gonna have to get me on the uh, restaurant. Was it pizza was it some Saurus? That one was Restaurant Tesaurus. Restaurant Tesaurus. It was next to that, that little stand, that ice cream stand where it was that ice cream cookie <laughs> sandwich and it was like a strawberry cake. Do you want me to tell sandwich. you what it was? Go on. Because it's my number three as well. <laughs> 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 number three for both of us is it was it the dino bites? Yeah it was. Dino bites and it was the strawberry shortcake sugar cookie ice cream sandwich. Boom, that's it. And was it a snack with it? Yeah. There we yeah, go. and it Got was it. like the two sugar cookies with a whole like three scoop of strawberry like ice cream in the middle, three scoops. and then I like cookie crumbs on it. Yeah, so then it was like dipped in like cookie crumbs all over. Yeah, it was so um, good. Yeah, it was in strawberry like but like cake crumbs. Yeah, it was really nice. Like for me, who I do enjoy 
sweet things but i don't have a massive sweet tooth i felt that was gonna be like over for me but that was honestly one of my favorite snacks obviously it's number three it was delicious there is a video of us eating that as well if you want to see what we're on about so i'll leave either in a card above and also in the description box below the exact florida vlog when we tried that i think it was day two in animal kingdom yeah, so you can go really watch us eat it? that and see what we're talking about so, and that was a, sorry and that was a really good snack credit as well because on its own it was like seven dollars something so <laughs> right. it was really good so then at number two again you're gonna have to tell me where i got this from so we're in epcot yeah the ribs where oh we're in africa no ribs? it was italy we're italy italy where we got the stack of ribs because yeah. we got the three and we so went this on was, the table this was food and wine festival and i saw somebody walking around with just a mound of meat in a one of them trays and it turns out this were the ribs and they were just delicious from there yeah, you got, from the you got italy so much and they were so food. nice you literally got like six ribs or something yeah. piled up in this little tray which and was these, insane these are not like if you go to a restaurant here in the uk and you get ribs they're like mm, you know, like tiny bit of meat on loads of bone this was like yeah, it was really meat good, yeah. meat so my number two i think i'm gonna be controversial my number two was also from epcot food and wine festival and it was the brazilian cheese i knew this would be for you <laughs> it was so good was that for brazil yeah it was cool and that was a snack credit and you got two little cheese buns and we'd heard about it from tim hadn't we tim tracker and he said it was really good and i would have never probably picked it otherwise and it's these little basically like round tea cake yeah, bao buns almost cake, style yeah. and they've got like melted cheese in the middle it's not even like melted cheese in the middle but it's like the cheese is infused with the bread it's the, the so cheese and good. the bread almost form like the bubbly like yeah it's like really bread. doughy as well yeah, so does. good oh my gosh and we had that the first night at epcot didn't we yeah and then we went back another time and we went a bit crazy and we got three and i could not eat them all but you know <laughs> we've had a few drinks and then you're like i want to eat the world <laughs> and i wanted to eat the world in brazilian cheese bread and i could not eat you it didn't all, realize but... that you get two at a time yeah i thought you just got one so I thought I was getting like one and a half or two Brazilian cheese breads, not six. <laughs> I could not eat six Brazilian cheese breads. No. But if they have that at any of the festivals, check it out. Brazilian really good. Bread. And then number one, mm -hmm. Jack Jack Cookie Num Num. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that was so good. So this was in Incredi Incredibles World or it's something like that? It's at the uh, Neighbourhood Bakery in Hollywood Studios in the... Um, There's like a little Incredibles like section Pixar in there area yeah what's it called pix not pixar place pixar village pixar place pixar place i don't know something like that something there just off toy story yeah this jack jack cooking num num this is something that we'd seen on vlogs for like the whole six, year <laughs> seven eight months before we went and we're just hoping it were there hoping it were there yeah and we only managed to catch it once didn't we? We went there so yeah. many times and we went to it studios at, like four times yeah, didn't it we? it opens at funny times and closes early like Four or five o'clock. Mm -hmm. So we missed out on it a couple of times because of that. Got it, and that was so it was nice. Really good. Like I wish we could get them right now. Like a big cookie pie, really good. It was just beautiful, wasn't it? It was yeah. just like moist in the in the middle. And when we got it, we convinced your dad to try it as well, didn't it? And he was going to save some for the kids, and he didn't eat it at all. He was it like, no, that was too good. That so was. my number one is it's a bit of a weird one. Like you wouldn't expect this to be number one. But I just remember when I had it, it was so good. And it was the cake pops from the Trolley Car Cafe, the Starbucks location in Hollywood Studios. They're so nice. those cake pops were just delightful. And you get three for a snack credit? Yeah, you got three for a snack credit as well. So it was really good value because they were like, I want to say like two to three dollars each or like three for five. Yeah, well like three for five something. Or a snack credit. Or a snack credit. And I just remember being sat there waiting for Fantasmic to start eating my cake pops and it was just, it, it was really good. And it because it wasn't too over facing either because they were just little balls of cake, it left me wanting more of it, which is always a good, well, to me, I see that as a good thing. Like I want to go back for more of it. And that's probably what makes me put it higher on my list than if I'd had like a big cake of it. See, that's where me and you differ. My, my top two were mounds of like ribs and then a massive cookie. Quantity. Quality. <laughs> it was quality. It was quantity and quality. Okay. So that is our top three snack credit eligible snacks. So now let's go on to rides. Our top three rides across all the parks. Ooh. And then my number one. You know your number one as well. <laughs> yeah. It's easier for me because I prefer universal rides. I know. Well, so. I can pick my favourite three out of universal, but I don't. 
don't know if that's my favourite yeah. overall for okay, different okay. reasons. Take a few more minutes. It's hard to try and think of all the rides. Oh, I thought of another one that I liked. Okay, I've got my top three. Okay, top three. Yeah, shall I go first? Yeah, go for it. So my third favourite ride was Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. Oh. I really liked that and I got to be the pilot. I had an awesome time. <laughs> I did good there, didn't I? I did the hack and yeah, I got to be yeah, pilots. So I think I probably enjoyed it more than like some others. Yeah, yeah. But I really liked that. I, I just it pressed was, a button. Yeah, whereas <laughs> I got to like control it and everything. So it was really cool. And I liked that it had only just opened as well. I liked the whole hype around it and everything like that. And the ride queue was fun. And the fact that we did it at like half six, seven in the morning was also really cool. Yeah. And I really liked that. It was a really good experience. So that's my number three. Nice. So my number three is going to be Space Mountain. Ooh, I did not think that. I really, really enjoyed that one. I yeah. think I don't know how many times I went on it when we've been before, but I was a bit, I was like really good that we only went on it once this time because I think we've only done it once every time we've been. Yeah, that's one that I did like really enjoy, yeah. and I think I remember the least. Yeah. In the dark and just whip it round. It was really fun. It was, and you're kind of not really in much either. They're just like a little <laughs> like ride vehicle, isn't it? So. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Oh. So my number two is Flight of Passage. That was just amazing. I got to go on it, were it four times? Yeah, you went on it a lot. Yeah, because we got fast passes and then we did the whole rider switch situation. So I rode it a lot. And I sat in four different locations and seats. And if you sit really high up to the left, you get a lot of water in your face. That was the last one, last time we did it. It's like sprinkled. N no, honestly, were you with me the last time we did I, it? I don't know. And I was in a place I'd never sat in before and I was like, geez, the wheels came off like face were drenched. Whereas I sat on it like the other few times and like the first time we did it, I hardly got anything in my face. So what made me think of that one was because I was thinking of soaring and it's very similar to soaring, isn't it? Yeah. It is just awesome. Awesome, awesome, really awesome. So my number two is going to be the Hulk. Oh. That was one. I think that was probably the one that we queued for the longest. Yeah, probably. While we yeah. was there, like 40, 45 minutes. And that was just because I enjoy it so much. The, the whole thing of it is it's loop de loop. Like I'm, awesome, more of a, yeah. I'm more of a fast and furious type. Like Which, by the right. way, are we done, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't rate that right. That's not on this list. Um, <laughs> that, this made any, that made anyone's list. <laughs> no. So, so yeah, I I really enjoy that one. So that would be my number two. And I think we can both agree that our number one ride is... Hagrid's. <laughs> yeah, it was so good! We, especially because we didn't think we were going to get on that trip. And we'd kind of become okay with that, hadn't we? We'd kind of like... Yeah, okay, well, we're not going to get to ride it this trip, but we'll come back and ride it. So then to get to ride it within 45 minutes, yeah, it was just insane. It is such a good ride too. It's got everything in it, like without any spoilers, it has bits where you get like propelled really fast, you drop, There's big you think bangs. you're going to go backwards. Well, you do go backwards. That might be a big spoiler. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, everything in it. So yeah, good. Yeah, it's just really good. And we had different experiences because you were the, yeah. you were in the sidecar and I was on the bike and hanging on to a bike going that speed it was like it was quite scary. So next time we do it I'll go to go on the bike, then you get to sit in the sidecar. Side yeah. But yeah, yeah, that is that like was real fun, the really the best with it. the best ride I may have ever been on in my life. Yeah, and it's a good one for Universal as well because they've got um Rip Ride Rocket. Yeah. And then they've got the Hulk, but then they don't have a lot of big like Thrill brash roller, yeah. coaster, roller coaster do this so they did well to do that as a coaster rather than like screens and stuff yeah. which have become really popular aren't they? Yeah it was awesome. So we're joined by Bella now, she finally decided to get, get up. Out. So the next top three is character meets. So I included this because obviously character meet and greets are a big part of Disney <laughs> however they were something I thought I would really be wanting to do before we went i thought it was just for kids but after the first day of doing it i was like i want to meet all the characters wasn't i, I really yeah. loved it so would you like to do this or would you just like me to share this um so i've only got one character to me that really stands out okay go ahead it was when was it sorcerer mickey and minnie so that was the one that that was the one that stands out for me because that's my top that, one character meet and greet. We got that little extra bit where Mickey came through because we were taking so much time. Yeah. And Mickey came through and then him and Minnie started kinda Had messing around and like she were tidying him up and yeah. tying up his rope and yeah, that was that was pretty cool. 
Yeah. So I enjoyed that So one. that was my number one character meet and greet. Now, I don't know if that would be everyone's or what I'd recommend for everyone because we got really lucky with that meet and greet and I wanted to do it because I like Sorcerer Mickey. So that's why it makes her number one spot for me personally. But I don't know if it'd make everyone's number one, but it's my number one. Yeah, that's it. And it made it made number one because of our particular yeah. circumstance where we was like with Mini for ages, and yeah. then Mickey came up and doing that. So that's why it stands out for me as number one. Yeah. But I'm guessing that's a Disney thing, though, isn't it? That all these different things happen. So you might yeah. go and see like one of the other princesses, and something might happen, happen there, which which kind of stands out to you in your memory and know. makes it really good. Yeah. And then my number two and three are both tied because they're both the same type of thing. So they're both character breakfasts. So I've got the Cape May Cafe for Minnie's Beach Bash, where we met um, Minnie, Goofy, Donald and Daisy. I really liked that, it was really good. The buffet food there was really good. Like it was, oh, yeah. it was expensive, all the character buffets are, but for what we paid, the food was actually really good, really decent and it was different to a lot of other buffet places too. That was the thing you wanted, just typical like American yeah, no. waffles and bacon and stuff. The was shrimp, yeah. what was it? I don't remember. Shrimp frittata. Shrimp frittata. We got recommended. A, they had a breakfast pizza. And it was all you could eat as well, so you could just keep yeah, going yeah, up Yeah, you could just place. go up and, and testing it all. I'm trying to think of what else they had. They, had, they just had other bits like that yeah. that want your standard kind of breakfast buffet food, but were really good. Really they good, want yeah. they were just like cheap, like, oh, just knocked them out. It was really nice. Yeah. And also, it was really good that all the characters just kind of come around to your table, but they did numerous laps. So you're always scared to go up and get your breakfast and miss someone. But they did a couple of laps, so we would have definitely got to see everyone. And also, our server lady was really good because she checked that we'd seen all of the characters as well yeah. so they make sure that you've seen everyone before you leave they were really on it with that yeah. i saw a couple of times like waitresses coming over when they were with us and they'd be like oh just come to this table yeah. afterwards and make sure you've seen these kids so yeah yeah and then the third one was akashus royal banquet hall because again that was a character breakfast but with your disney princesses that wasn't as good food and it was still really expensive but you got to see was it like four or five of the main princesses so yeah it was worth it for me because otherwise you would have been waiting like what five hours to meet all the separate princesses anyway so to pay to have your breakfast a little bit more price you're in have them all again come to your table it was just worth it for me yeah again it's weighing up kind of how much Time, time is worth on your yeah. holiday, innit? Like, say, if you'd like to queue up to meet all them individually, if like meeting them was a necessary yeah. thing, like if you're your kids that definitely want to meet them, then yeah, yeah, essentially it's better just to pay that little sum. Or if you're on the meal plan, it yeah, the dining, the dining plan, one, it? it was a table service, it, it will have been one or two table service yeah. credits, so, so yeah. that'd be like a good use of it, yeah. It on there. And also, we had a really good interaction with that one again, didn't we? With like Aurora oh, and Ariel and it was just yeah. really good. Or his nephew nicknamed her Fishes. Yeah, and Aurora found it brilliant. <laughs> and then Ariel just like chilled on the floor with Ethan Jensen, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. It was really nice. So yeah, that's our characters. Ozzy's lied on my phone. So <laughs> the last one I've got on is top three shows. Does it include parades or just shows? Um, let's do parades and shows. So like parades and shows. Yeah. Parades and yeah. shows. Okay, you go first with number three and I'll decide my number three. What am I doing? Doing all you're three? Doing, no, you're doing your number three while I decide my number three. All right, cool. So my number three is going to be the Hogwarts um, castle. Projection. Projection and bit of fireworks. Hogwarts, dark art. Something, yeah. yeah. We're a massive, massive Harry Potter fans mm -hmm. anyway. And so I was really looking forward to seeing and some of the did. And it was just really nice to be there and have something at night in Hogwarts. Yeah, well. it was. That was really cool because you don't see a lot at night at Universal. So that was good. Cool. No one depression because I still don't know our number three. And the queues were massive for that they one. They were there. insane, yeah. We finished the our show in, which wasn't the first one. People are always like, oh, don't, don't see the first one. No, ours, but there's only two show-ins. Oh, there's only two yeah. show-ins? All right, fair enough. So yeah, ours was the first one. And then literally the whole of Hogsmeade was just full of people. Yeah queuing up for the next show on it, it yeah. was crazy coming out of there. And people like to queue up for the second show because it actually, well the nights that we were there it was actually on at the time the park shuts so it allows you to stay in past closing as well so. Mm. So my number three, oh it is so hard. I don't know whether it's going to be the Happily Ever After fireworks at Magic Kingdom or the Halloween special fireworks at Magic Kingdom. So let's round it up and say Magic Kingdom fireworks. Let's <laughs> <laughs> cheat a little bit. Mainly because I just find that so magical. I love all the projections they do on the castle are amazing. They have the music and it just gives you all the feels. It's, it's one thing that 
it just warms my heart. <laughs> Makes me feel truly magical. So either of those I'll take. <laughs> so my number, number two. two is going to be the Halloween parade. That was really good. I really enjoyed that. The music and them all coming through. It, it was really like just immersive. Yeah, we into it and we were singing that song for ages. <laughs> Happy Halloween. There we go. Cool, so my number two was Who to Do Review. So I'm classing this as a show because we decided to because it is a show. It's obviously a separate paid dinner and show, but it was really good. It was just fun for all the family is the best way to describe it. Like the food was really good, but yeah, the show, it was slapstick comedy, but it wasn't stupid comedy because I don't like stupid comedy. Yeah, I'd agree with that. It was like a variety show, pantomime kind of style. Yet, yeah, they were really good singers, dancers and all of that. And obviously Lee got on stage, which made it like <laughs> 10 times better as well, because he got to act and do his own little bit. So that's my number one. Number one. Number one was who to do. Like the food was really good. Considering it was all you can eat, and they kept bringing it out and you could order as much as you wanted. Yeah. And the drinks as well were... Yeah, it was alcohol, as well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it, it was just a really good night on that front and then like I say the show was good, they were funny too as well as the singing and they were going around and making stuff up as mm -hmm. they were going and then yeah I got pulled up as well which kind of made the it improv, a really good memory. The improv was really good actually wasn't it, yeah. like that was really cool. So then my number one is, do you know what it is? I think so. It's fr the Frozen sing along. Yeah, I thought it that was. Okay. That was so good as a show, like that obviously I really love funny. Frozen and like the narrators are obviously like really funny and yeah you get to sing along with it and snow comes down and again I just love that magical feeling don't I? I'm a bit of a sucker <laughs> for the Disney bubble and everything that goes along with it and obviously I love Frozen, love all of the songs so yeah. as a girl. It was really good it. that. It was really good seeing even leaving so too. So I think that's all my top three categories sorted. Have you got anything else that deserves an honourable mention in regards to Walt Disney World, Universal, Florida in general? Anything you think we've missed after watching the vlogs? No, I'm asking you. Anything that you think deserves an honourable mention? I mean, oh, you can let us know as well in the comments down below, <laughs> but I'm asking Lee right now. Um, that we've not covered in here? Mentions. No. <laughs> no, I think we've, no, I think we've covered like the big stuff, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. No. If you think we've missed no. something, let us know. But I think in terms of like the only other one would be lands and Star Wars land. Oh, okay. Like Galaxy's Edge was. It's awesome. Really good. I, I mean, think they they'll nail yeah. that. Yeah. Rise of the Resistance opens next week. Yeah. So like Galaxy's Edge is crazy. It's literally like you're on a different mm -hmm. planet as soon as you walk through whatever passageway you're going yeah. to. They've done that really, really well. I mean, Disney's always good at that anyway. But wow. Yeah. I so I've got a, a little add in. So we talked about snacks and food, but we didn't cover drinks. So I want to honourable mention a couple of drinks because I'm, I'm one who likes different drinks and speciality drinks and things like that. So one was the Starbucks strawberry acai drink. I mean, that was just amazing. And I think you can get that in America in general at Starbucks anyway, but I don't think we can get it here. And it was beautiful. Margaritas from La Cantina in frozen, Mexico. Frozen lime margaritas. Yeah, they are the best. So good. And I did Get think drunk pretty <laughs> yeah, I, did. I did think of another drink as well that I had. I don't know, I like the Fanta there. Because Fanta <laughs> in America is different. But that's nothing honourable, I don't think. No. The hot chocolate at the hotel was good. And so was the coffee, Joffrey's coffee. <laughs> I've been Googling to see if I can get Joffrey's coffee pods for my Nespresso machine and I just can't, which makes me sad. But yeah, drinks get an honourable mention from me. So that is going to be it for our Walt Disney World and Florida video today. If you do have any other requests on what you'd like us to film, if it's planning tips, trip reports, anything like that to do with Disney, let us know and we can definitely film that for you because I love filming these videos. Also, can we just say, we didn't mention, Lee's got a Disney top on today, which <laughs> I did not ask him to do and I didn't even realise it. It's just a happy coincidence, just, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. So we hope you have enjoyed watching and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Bye!